Hello and welcome to the Check My Nouns Design Module Tutorial Video. This is Joel. This is Rowena. We have it on our t-shirts because we're really cool people. We are indeed. So yeah, we're going to show you how to use the Design Module. We're going to start by clicking Design a T-shirt. This will take us directly to the module. So there are five steps, um, which you can see split across the top there. The first one is choose garment. We're going to choose the guys because we're going to be making a t-shirt for our boss, Sergio. Um, we've just chosen the basic uh, men's white t-shirt. You can change the colour of the t-shirt at any time um, during the design module or even at the end you can add make additional colours available. Um, we'll uh, start by uploading an image. Yeah, I have one in mind. Uh, on a file or something. Let's just time that. Okay, we're going to browse and upload. Um, I'll come back to those terms and conditions in a second. Let's go for this one. Sergi Fro. I wonder what that could be. Yeah. Our image upload was successful and will appear in just a few moments. At this point, we'd like to remind you to ensure quality prints. The maximum file size is 10 megabytes. Uh, maximum quality is 200 and 2880. Just read the screen. 300 DPI is the important bit. Uh, we've gone for a PNG file with a transparent background. Yeah, this means that there's no white. We're not putting white on top of the t shirt, which wouldn't be so bad on this t shirt, but say if you are doing a red t shirt. Uh, you would see this white background. Yeah, as you can see, if we go with the red, there's no white background behind it. Um, if you want more technical information, then watch our Photoshop video that will have more tech spec. Yeah, tech spec. Right. Um, okay, we've got the image. Let's um, shrink it down a little bit. Let's, uh, let's, let's also make it wonky. Let's make it wonky there. Okay, we'll use the rotate function to put him at an angle. We'll drag him into the center of the t shirt. Um, lock aspect ratio is on, which means that if we change the width, it automatically changes the height to match our changes and to keep the uh, shape of it the same. Um, okay, so that image is done. Okay, brilliant. Uh, let's add some text. So let's type in here Afro. Afro. Okay, um, font type. Comic solid, okay. So then, now we have these controls to make it bigger, change the colour, make it blue. Blue. Blue is good. Um, make it even bigger. Yeah, let's, let's, uh, yeah, let's make it round his head, let's curve it. Okay. Should we add some more text? Um, mm. Yes, let's add a little bit more text. To do that, we're going to click on create new text. Some text. Easier. Nah. You get me. I getcha. Okay, for this we're going to click on, let's do one of these ones. Let's do this one. Okay, for this we change, let's just straighten it out. Let's make it bigger and bolder. Different colour? Yeah, uh, you can get the colour, be creative. Is it too spaced? No, I like it. Okay, cool. Um, let's make it green, a nice vibrant green. Ah, there we go. Bit of depth to the card. Aphrodisiac. Nice 70s kind of vibe going on here. Yeah. Guys. Cool, okay. So that's done. Let's add um, some clip art, I think. Yes, nice. Let's put the clip art in. Clip art is good. I like clip art. Yeah, you would do. You came up with most of it. Um, we'll go for these graphic artist ones. Because I've got an ink smudge, because it will change the colour. Ink smudge. It's a paint streak. The paint streak, I don't know whether you're, you're a girl, let's make it pink. You'll like that. Pink is nice, it's, it's a bit candy pink, but you know, whatever you like to draw. That's your favourite colour, it's good for me. It is indeed. Okay, um, so, <coughs> as you can see now it's over the text, what we'll do is, we'll go to paint stroke over here. Yeah, this is a great function, you can, you can pop the paint stroke behind the text like this, which yeah. allows you a lot of laser creativity. Do you, want, do you want the paint stroke in front of the... No, behind his head, but then you can see the top of his upper. Okay. Cool. Um, we keep carrying on adding clip art. I think that this is pretty much done. Okay. A story will help you sell your t-shirts. Tell me a story, John. Tell me a story. Well, this is our boss. That's right. This is our boss. Oh, too many answers. We like his hair. So we made him a t-shirt to show him we care. Okay, brilliant. There, we have done. We've created our first T-shirt. Great. 
So what's left is step five. So we can now go to the buy button. Yeah, before you do that, just to mention that um, you can also rotate the t-shirt. On the back of the t-shirt, you can That's add good. images, add clip art, do. Yeah, let's just get something like that. Put a smile in there. The big smile? The big smiley face. Yes, this is good. Cool. Um, so we have the print on the front and the back of the t-shirt. Exactly. As you can see, the live price has changed down here. Garment, front print, back print, that's all updated. For... Great. So now we are left with two options. Um, we can either buy it for our own use, so we can buy like five mediums and five larges and a couple of smalls as well, so that we could sell them here in the office to everyone that knows them. I think people would buy them. I think so. Or we don't want to buy them and do the selling ourselves, what we can do is we can sell it through here. I'm very sad, you. In which case, we can save it. I'm already logged in, so I don't have to log in at this point. We can just save it, it will save it, and then it will be available in my shop. There you go, that is how you design a t shirt in the design module. Perfect. Next one. Yes.